hi. So quite often I receive phone calls like this. Hello? Hello? And it's quite obvious that the other person has accidentally called me while their phone is in their back pocket or their bag or something like that. I don't know why, but I always insist on listening like I love it. I think it's because I secretly hope that... Oh my god, they don't know they've called me. Maybe I can hear them talking about me. Maybe I can hear them have sex. Wait, wait, listen. Oh my god, it's in their pocket. Maybe it's in their pocket while they're talking about me while they're having sex. I think it's kind of like when people think you're asleep, so you listen to their conversations. But it never works because you always end up really upset. Yeah, no, she's asleep. God, thank goodness. She always cracks really shitty jokes. Oh my god, I know, right? Another thing I find strange about phone calls is when you accidentally get disconnected from a call and you call the person back and they let it ring out. Where did you go in five seconds? Did you just throw the phone away when we got disconnected? Is your attention span really that short? If we have a conversation and I pause for a second, will you just walk away? Although admittedly, I'm probably a little bit obsessive about phone calls because no one ever calls me. Somebody will ring you. In fact, I admit that sometimes when people call me, I'm so close to my phone I have to let it ring a couple times so it doesn't seem like I'm waiting. Sometimes I feel like I reveal too much of my neurotic side on the internet. So yeah, let me know, do you guys ever do things like this? And more importantly, let me know if you've ever heard anything interesting or worth reporting on the other end when a friend has accidentally called you. I'm getting really embarrassed now because I remember that once I called a friend back when they accidentally called me, even though I knew that they had done it by mistake just because I wanted some conversation. But hey, that's me. Somebody is bound to call. Maybe even a telemarketer. Hey, by the way, it's been three days. You've got to give it to me. That's the first promise I've delivered on in a long time. That makes you my best friend. Hey, if we keep going, we could be an internet relationship. Might have to ASL you soon. <sighs> you haven't ASL'd in a long time. Do you like how that was a pastime? Mine, I used to ASL back in the day. Back in the MSN days. No, it's all good. Anyway, don't forget to uh, subscribe. I'll have a new video up in three days. Don't forget to leave a mean message and don't forget to thumb me. That was rude. Like, no shit. Rubbing my clothes against the microphone is the most action I've had in a long time. Okay, it's Pono Music slash comment time, and how's this for you guys? The leprechaun in my head actually subscribed to Justin Bieber, and that hurt. And what the shit? Oh my god, I'm Sam. Her eye does not look like a rocket ship, and that is clearly a purse, not a tissue box. If you can't recognize art, that is not my fault. And yeah, right, I'll pay that. My house is, uh, is pretty much just me not painting the corners because I can't find sticky tape at the time. And uh, I'm very lazy. I don't want to let you know how many of my clothing items contain staples. But hey, it makes that really cool popping sound when I get undressed.